Remember I, what I said, if you need to pump the brain to low him, that's what you need to do. But I shouldn't see your inside brain opening towards Sam. Beautiful. Look at the turn towards me. You always look where you're going. Outside leg on through your turn. Outside leg on through your turn. Outside leg on. Good. Stop. See how his ears are back? He's listening to you. And then just go, whatever you do is do that circle, cut right through here, and change direction. Go towards C, switch your diagonal. Remember, outside hand out. So, Scott was learning more advanced stuff at this time, not just doing big circles around the ring. At the canter, um, we haven't really worked on doing anything besides going around the ring at the canter. She does lovely trot circles, and every once in a while we'll cut the ring in half, but she did not really have much control of him, so we went back to some basics a little bit with her before we continued. Look where you're going. Good, stop, good, sit tall, stop leaning back. Stay on the circle up here. Trot. Short your legs at the trot. Do not let him walk, do not let him walk. You fall apart, you need to know how to There, good. Now let him try out a circle or two around the whole ring. Whole ring, don't let him break. Scott had a great lesson with Alex. I'm very proud yeah. of her and how she did. Um, definitely we'll be working on the canner more. She's really good with the walk and the trot, but with the canner, Switch your um, diagonal. she does kind of fall apart a little bit, but we're going to get there. Um, she's learning. We're all always learning. So we're going to get better and she's going to be awesome. I just always have to remind her we ride horses for fun. This isn't supposed to be stressful. Just learn at your own pace. It's, it's fun. She can be a little hard on herself, and we're working on that too. You can let him walk when you want. Good. Give him pass. Scott, switch your diagonal. 
So one of the first things when you come into the trot, the first thing you should be thinking about is am I on the correct diagonal? So why don't you walk? When you get to H in the corner here, go ahead and start trotting again. When you get to H, why don't you canter? Very good. <laughs> He's like, I was not ready for that. <laughs> he picked it up real fast for her. Usually she has to really convince him. I think she's just getting more confident. So Scott, even when you mess up and come down to the trot and stuff, you gotta make sure you're staying in the corners. And um when you're cantering, I don't know if you notice, sometimes he like puts his head to the outside. He kind of just seems a little confused. Give him that half hole or give him a little pull back with that inside rein. So why don't you switch direction? I hear a puppy. Cookie. Oh, All right, why don't you start trotting and canter at him? Very good. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. That was a really good recovery by Scott and she kept in the canner. She didn't come down to the walk or the trot or anything. So I was very proud of her for continuing and staying cool minded. I brought him over here so he could see him <laughs> so he didn't hear us. That's the only reason it'd be okay to cut a corner. <laughs> it's all right. All right, why don't you trot? Emily, we need to fix this. Fix what? And walk. So because I am not back to riding yet, my friend Emily got on Cedric and jumped in for me, which is really awesome, so thank you, Emily. a lot better but he's <laughs> so much power. That was really good.
his lead change. <laughs> So at this point, Cedric won't pick up his left lead change. Eventually, Emily does get him to pick it up, but it is very hard. Even, I mean, I have so much trouble trying to get him to pick it up. And if anybody was going to be able to get him, I think Emily would. So sometimes he'll pick it up, but rarely. Um, so that is definitely something we have been working on a lot. He did injure his um, left um, suspensory ligament. So, but that was years ago. So I'm wondering if maybe it's just a habit he got into of um, trying not to be in pain over there or what. But he's perfectly fine now. So we're definitely working on getting that left lead after jumps. He gets it fine in flat. Doesn't like landing on his left. That's the one he did hurt his left before, but I mean, it doesn't bother. Nope. Oh, I guess he had to go on that one. I wasn't thinking. Jerk. funny. He's so proud of himself. Elbows bent by your sides. You want to turn before the cone. Yep, there you go. That was so pretty. Why don't you um, go around this cone and kind of do like a figure eight. You want to go in front of these, so you'll switch direction in between the jump, in between the two jumps. There you go. Make sure you go around the cone, and you want to be. See how you're aiming for the corner instead of the wall again? There you go.
we'll practice it before we are done. Keep them going. You can give him a tiny bit more rain just to get your elbows bent, but we really want those elbows bent so that if he pulls you, you don't fall forward. So go over the trotting poles. Just next time, it's fine. Switch your diagonal. So the reason I want you to, you're gonna go over the trotting poles, but I'm just gonna talk. The reason I want you to learn how to ride with tighter reins, like yes, he's perfectly fine in here for you with loose reins, but if you're at a show, it's not gonna be calm like this and you're gonna to need to be able to control him and tell him where to go. My sitting trot. Give him a half fault, slow him down. He's gonna think you're cannery. There you go. Shoulders back. When you get to B right here in the middle, go ahead and pick your posting trot up. Make sure you're on the right diagonal. Nice. And when you get up here to K, go ahead and do the figure eight. And you can even aim, aim for even B. Oh, I you want to kind of come in before the letter. See how you're going to be really sharp there? So why don't you try figure eight again, right up here at H. And aim for the pull before the letter. Does that make sense? Aim, so you're coming in before the letter. So you have a nice, that was better. All right, walk them out.